Here's a little update to my small vertical windmill project and I'm basically using a small vault to charge some AA batteries. Here are two AA batteries in parallel and it is charged by a small solar panel. I want to supplement the charge of that solar panel. And because this runs on a Jew thief circuit, it uses very little electricity and I just want to use something um, like a windmill, vertical windmill to uh, give it some extra charge when, uh, when you need it, when there's no sunshine. So what I'm going to use is, uh, this is a uh, alternator uh, kit from Atlens. And I've had this for quite a while and you can basically use it as a horizontal windmill or you can use it vertically. This piece here mounts on your post if you want to use it as a vertical windmill. And there's some permanent magnets there. It generates AC and the current has to be rectified with a rectifier and the circuit or the uh, electronics that came with it has a voltage doubler. So the voltage generated is uh, over 20 volts. He could get the alternator up to 39 volts. I've never been able to do that. 30 volts is uh, about what I can do. So you keep turning. So it comes up to about 30 volts. So Theoretically, even when it is turning relatively slowly, it should generate a few volts, which should be sufficient to charge that small solar light there. So right now, I'm in the process of making the rotor, which is this rotor here would sit on top of this uh, this metal arm here and then I'm going to make some wings so attach it to three sides. I haven't of course cut it out yet but this is the information that I've gotten so far as to the width of the of the lens to wing, the angle um, which is like 99 degrees um, from the rotation center. So actually uh, 9 degrees off and the information um, I got the width would be 1.82 inches and there's a formula for that and that is diameter times 0.14 so my diameter is about 13 inches so you time 0.14 and that gives you 3.67 inch the wing cord is like the width the width of the wing here and that would be the circumference times 0 0.09 and then the center drum radius would be the diameter of that uh, board there times 0.28 and that would be 3.64 pieces out of that obviously and that's where I'm at now it is because it's something small so I can do it inside my house and I don't have to go to my garage and I'm gonna deviate a little bit from the traditional lens uh, design or the lens traditional one it has a support top and bottom but I'm just gonna put like three pieces of wood here uh, you know one on each side each corner and the flashing uh, with the lens two wings will attach to the side here offset uh, like nine degrees or so and then the whole thing sits on top so it will be just like a single rotor. I have done it before with my bigger vertical windmill 
and that that was like an axial flux alternator with uh, with a bicycle axle. So this one here is more or less, I, I say less of a lens two design because I'm gonna just use like the rotors just sitting on here, single rotor taken from at lens um, that's his design there. Okay, thanks for watching.